where it's raining over there, that's Mexico. And those mountains, for the most part, are in Mexico. Uh, we've driven this road today, and we found, I would say, trash. It's been it's fairly fresh. Uh, not a lot, but some. Uh, we found some tie downs where they've been pulling the fence and actually tying it open. The Constitution says that the government will protect the people from invasion. It's not happening. This is Constitution that they are violating. Mexico is exploding, and and the people have to go somewhere. And and they're coming back to their old grounds. We see it right here along the border in El Paso. This is a demonstration to let the federal government, the state government, and the local government that we as Mexican people, as citizens of this country, on this side of the border, abhor and completely do not agree with the stance of the Minutemen. Our communities are being violated. Our folks are concerned. Our folks are, are afraid. The time when everybody thought that the Mexican would hold his sombrero and lower his head are gone. We are going to fight, we are going to fight these races, and we want them out of our community. Go home races! Go home! Go home races! Well, I feel like somebody needs to be down here to do it. I mean, we're, I've lived in this part of the country all my life, and I don't have anything against anybody, but I think our laws need to be enforced. Uh, Especially after 9-11, you know, we don't know who's coming across our border or what they're doing or what they're bringing. So, to me, this is not about an immigration deal. It's about people coming into the country illegally, and it's a security deal. You know, the last thing I want to do is wake up some morning and find out that a backpack nuke went off in downtown Tucson. Or El Paso. Something tells me that whoever's over there driving around is not out there for a scenic drive right now. To the, the Minutemen that are sincere, yes, it's worth it. We just wish more, more people with uh, powers that be and we wish it was, no, it was worth it. I agree that we're not doing what we should. We're bringing the Homeland Security Committee out here to take a look at what we can do, how we can rewrite the, the immigration law, how we can separate the people coming here to work for uh, just to improve their family and differentiate them from the people who might be terrorists or who might bring drugs into the country. I'll tell you that, uh, that we have, uh, we understand we have a problem, but the way we go about it is very critical right now. I frankly don't believe that uh, individual efforts is the right way to go to protect America and protect America's borders. I don't support that at all. And it's clearly wide open and it's not acceptable and we're working on that. That's why we're here, to find a way to remedy that. I've already told the Border Patrol people a lot of our stuff that we've bought to use down here is better than theirs. When it's time for us to leave, man, I'm going to box that stuff up. I'm going to come down here and give it to them and I'm gone and I don't want to come back to this border again.